Okay, I'm going to talk about what's in the typical camera bag that we have for Wolf by TV. So, first of all, the bags do look different. This is just DSLR number seven, so, but other ones look different. They're basically the same thing. So in the bag, of course, we should have a camera, a mic kit. I've kind of thrown in a charger, so that way you guys have chargers. Don't lose those. And a battery. So first of all, let's talk about the mic kit. The mic kit should be put away a certain way. There's two parts to the mic kit that we're gonna use. The first part is the receiver, and this usually has a cord hooked up to it, and the cord can stay hooked up to this one just fine. Uh, this one wasn't, but this one can stay. This one's a pretty tough cord, and it has a very nice, uh, plastic shroud around it and this is going to go to your camera here in just a few seconds. The other part is the microphone. Okay? And this is not how I want the microphone to be stored. The microphone needs to be stored where the microphone portion, this portion, is off the camera or off the unit. We know it's the microphone portion because on the top it has a mute button. The problem with these is that this little corner right here it is very easily bent and that's when we have troubles with the microphone. So that's why we want it to wrap it up kind of like just around your hand, nice and loose. If there's any knots in there, take the knots out. Clip it on with the alligator clip that's the mic clip on there that's on for you. I always check the mics because we always use we use the mics quite a bit when we're doing interviews. So one of the first things you'll be doing is doing some interviews. And the first thing I always do is open the doors on the mics and check the batteries. So I open this mic on the side here, the two buttons on the side. There's an on and off switch right there. So click on that and then there'll be a little gauge on there that tells you the battery. This has two out of three. Oh, this went down to one. So we're getting down there. I would really keep an eye on this one. What am I doing? So if I'm going to do a short interview, I could probably get away with that with the one battery. Let's check the other one real quick. And this one has three full. So that's good. Usually there's extra batteries located in your little bag. So if they're still wrapped in that plastic, usually I trust those. But you know, even if they're not, put them in there. And since we have a battery gauge on there, we can tell whether or not we have the right setup. The next thing I really check is to make sure I have the right number here, this matches the number here. You might not be able to see this, but I'm going to read it to you. It's 542.900 hertz. That's the frequency this microphone's at. We'll talk about more about the microphones later, but this is the basics. And I have 542, take a look here. Yep, 542.900 hertz. If you can't see that in there, there's a little up and down arrow. You can go ahead and push the up and down arrow until you get to where you want, want to see there. And you can see what we're doing here. Okay. So I always check those before I leave. This is kind of like before I even step out the door. Check the batteries and the microphone. Make sure I do have a mic. Sometimes we get left without a mic. And so on. Before I even go out and shoot again, I check the camera out. I make sure the camera's going to work. So let's turn these off. Hold down the on and off button for two seconds. I'll do it this one. I've already done one. Here we go, holding down the on and off button, 1001, 1002, and now it says off and shuts off. Okay, those can go back in there. I'm just checking things out for now. Obviously, there should be a couple batteries in your bag, so charge one up while you're using, uh, doing an a interview, but just don't forget the charger, that happens a lot. Looking at the camera, I always make sure, first of all, there's a plate on the bottom, and the plate should have the word lens, and it should point to the lens, and it should be nice and tight. If it's not tight, take a quarter or a nickel or even a penny and tighten up that plate. It should not be loose. It should not be moving on you. It should be fairly tight, otherwise your camera will move on the tripod. To put the battery in, it's right down the same spot here, too. It's spring-loaded. I kind of push on that little tab right there. There it is right there. Push on that little tab. Take the battery. The battery has some silver points on it. Those go in first. 
There's already a battery in here, so I'll go ahead and take that battery out, put this battery in, push it down until it locks. You should hear it click. When you want to take it out, there's a little bit of a plastic piece there. Push that plastic piece, it should pop out pretty easily. And then this closes and locks pretty nicely. Okay. Usually we have a strap on there. We put that strap around us so we don't drop the camera and have it dropped. All right, to turn this camera on, it's right here next to this little dial. And while you're learning, I would put this dial on automatic. So you have to push this little button in the middle. There's a little tiny button in the middle there. Push that button and turn the dial until you get to the right spot. Okay, for now let's just do automatic. Later on you'll definitely learn manual controls. They're just doing some basics today. All right, let's turn it on. Here's the on and off switch right here. You can see it's going to come on the back here. And we are ready to start shooting either pictures or video. These can do both. All right. Looking at this battery, <laughs> it's pretty low. So this is a kind of a not a charged battery. I'm going to go charge this right now and come back and try a new battery. So that's a good thing to check right off the bat when you put your battery in. All right, put a new battery in. I have two battery bars instead of just one. It's better than nothing or better than just more than one, so we're good. All right, other things we need to do is need to put a card in. All right, so you found where the battery went. The same side the battery went is where the card goes. This pops open right here and flips up. There's two card slots in here. There's already a card in here. So there's a little one and there's a big one. This also takes compact flash cards, but we only use SD cards in ours. So the SD card goes in here like this, and the, the label is facing out towards you and toward the back. Push that in with one finger until it clicks into place, and it stays. When you want to take it out, just click it once, it pops out. All right, I'm going to put it back in because I want to format this card first thing. Okay, let's get to the formatting. Okay, it's been a while since some of you have done this, so let's learn how to format your card. We want it, Formatting means getting it all fresh and ready. You should do this only after you have finished filming and your story is turned in. Do not format your card until everything's done, or this is the first time using your card and you need to go ahead and format it so you have fresh. Otherwise, there might be some footage in there from a previous person. All right, so I'm gonna push menu. And since I'm in the camera mode we're going to use this little joystick here this is like a little joystick and you can go back and forth here and there's several menus there's a red menu a blue menu and a yellow menu you want to go to the first yellow menu which has the wrench on it and then you want to use this little dial here to go up and down and we're going to go down to format card once we're on format card we're going to push the set button and we're in slot 2, slot 1 is the CF card, so let's go ahead and push slot 2 and push start. And then it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to uh, format this? Okay, because I already have some footage on here. If you want to see your footage to see what you have before you format it, push this little play button right here. And it looks like, oh, this bunch of pictures from when my graduation for my kids. So I use this camera to go out and take some graduate pictures of the kids. And I'm pretty sure I have these saved, but you know what? I am not exactly sure, so I better switch cards because I better make sure I have these saved somewhere before I get rid of them. So I'm going to come back with a new card that I know I can format. All right, new card in there. Pushing play. There's no images there. There's nothing on here already. So I can go ahead and format it just for fun. All right, menu set set roll the big wheel over to OK and there it is when you first turn the camera on it might be in the video mode or it might be in the camera mode this little switch right here will tell you which one you're in so right now I'm in the video mode if you want to take pictures you're going to slide over to camera mode and that means I'm in the camera mode now so I'm going to switch it back to the video mode we get a grid, a rule of thirds grid, to help you line up your eyes on thirds and get some most interesting parts on 
the grid. When you're ready to start recording, just push the start and stop button right here and you will be rolling. Make sure this guy is blinking at you because that means you're getting footage onto the card. When you're done wanting to stop recording, push the start and stop button again. If you want to look at your footage, you push the play button. You can go ahead and push the set button and you put a bunch of controls here that you can roll through and do different things and look at. So let's go ahead and play that. You can see that I'm it doesn't have the best audio out of here, so I strongly suggest you put headphones on. So let's take a look at the headphone jack. The headphone jack is located on this side of the camera. This side of the camera was for your card and your battery. The left side of the camera is for a bunch of inputs. Let's take a look at these really quickly. The left door is where you're going to put your mic. MIC, the very top button. And just make sure you follow here. It says MIC on there. That's where the mic goes. Right next to that is your headphone button. It's the other little plastic door here. And that's where you're going to plug your headphones. Please use headphones when using these cameras. It really is important to tell what kind of audio you're getting. So when you're shooting, you should not only have shooting video, but you should also listening to your audio and seeing, making sure there's no sounds or background sounds. If I just pause talking here, you're going to hear a lot of background sounds in this room. Now I'm going to turn them off. Now. And turn them back on. So it's called room tone. you got to have that room tone for stories, otherwise it sounds dead. And we want to use lots of sound on tape. Your microphone on the left. Your headphones on the right, don't get them switched up, otherwise you will not get bad audio. While you're learning, you might want to be in autofocus for now, just to help you out a little bit. All right, the dials will help you here. This dial here will focus your camera. This dial here will zoom in and out your camera. Some pretty basic controls here just to get you started. We're in automatic mode, later we'll go to manual mode. But this kind of gets you down and dirty and dangerous here ready to go ahead and start getting some filming and you have some microphones keep track of all of our equipment and please be nice to it it's very expensive equipment so try not to have anything rub against the lens okay if you do have a dirty lens clean it with a very very soft cloth no paper towels things of that nature it will scratch the lens all right that's a good first start for us let's go ahead and get to those cameras